we've got TGT joined on, just waiting for IQ drops to do the same. We have Saman just waiting for Ragus, and I think we are good to go. And whenever they are ready, teams can join on and we will get game one of this best of five started. IQ drops uh, qualifying for season two of Diamond Doubles after winning the upper bracket in qualifier number one. Going unbeaten in that and they still remain unbeaten. They'll be looking to carry that into their season. TGT, on the other hand, they came through Qualifier 2 and they won the loser bracket after very nearly having to forfeit their spot in the loser final. They did manage to pull a team together. And I believe it was uh, Bean Sports that they took out in the lower final who also qualified uh, through the wild card. Once the first minute gone, teams are kind of just, they tend to do this, kind of just uh, test each other out a bit at the start of a match. I can't pull up brackets just now, I'm not sure if these guys, I'm pretty sure they have faced each other some way or another during Rocket League. Octanity is, is a new player uh, to the Rocket League, uh, to the Diamond League stream. Uh, every other player has been involved in some way or another, and a demo by Ragus will open that up for Saman to just slot away easily. Noctanity searching for the rebound off the wall, but Ragus just completely takes him out. And IQ drops will draw first blood in this match. And Kuka missing the touch on the backboard. Saman missing the shot, but Ragus is there to clear it up. And Saman, I think expecting uh, Kuka's touch off the wall. Wasn't able to position himself for the shot, but luckily Ragus was in position, ready for the loose ball. And if you're familiar with Diamond League, you'll know that Saman is also one of our 1v1 uh, Winter Series elites. He'll be uh, making an appearance on Monday in the Winter Series Grand Final. Fight now for a share of the prize pool, and Ragus nicely drops that into the corner. IQ drops with a powerful lead now. Just under two minutes gone. I'm not sure how much uh, playtime TGT have had together. I know that um, Octanity is a bit of a new addition to the squad moving into league play. Does well to get the save on Saman shot there. Rag is circling in midfield like a vulture, waiting for the loose ball. He's almost, he is able to take care of it himself. Nicely positioned in front of the defense, trying to clear it, just slams that back into the goal. Two minutes gone and IQ drops with a 4-0 lead so far. Definitely looking to continue their unbeaten streak in diamond doubles since the qualifier. In their second match this evening, we'll see um, one of the season one teams return to season two, which will be Bazaar Esports. They're going to be coming up against uh, one of the newbies, Din Gurkha and Kuka. We'll finally get TGT on the board. Nice pass forward. I was able to get that over the defense before anyone could do anything about it. Damon trying to line up the rebound off the wall. Didn't work out for him. Ragus again, defending well at midfield. Keeping the attack alive for IQ drops. Bit of a double commit here from TGT. Kuka does well to play it into the middle, but Ragus will take the shot. It's going to hit off the backboard, and he does get the double touch. Nicely read by Ragus. 
IQ drops will regain their four goal cushion. And a nice pass in from Seaman. Ragus will get on the end of it. An absolutely dominant performance from IQ drops so far. Just managing to get on top of TGT every time they're trying to make something happen. Indeed, IQ drops are one goal away from the much sought after Brazil scoreline. And by the rate of the match so far, it's very possible. Rakis gets a nice little squeeze to keep the ball out of danger. A bit of a weak clear from Octanity. Rakis pushing on the end of it. Keeps it alive and across the face of goal. That gets just a one-man assault at the moment. Kukut did well to read the shot from Seaman. Octanity. One shot. Trying to take advantage of IQ Drop's defensive position. But Seaman was back in time. Well met on the wall by Ragus there. The demo trying to open up for Ragus, but it didn't work out. And now Kuka has a chance to dribble on an open goal here. And he's trying to fake the guys out, but both IQ drops players getting a save on that there. And with 15 seconds left to go, there's nothing that can be done for TGT. IQ drops will take game number one in this best of five. And Bragas on zero seconds will get the Brazil. Did well to keep it alive on the back wall and then squeezing it in round the post. The much sought after Brazil line Brazil score line is obtained by IQ drops and they take game number one. And I do believe that um uh, Mubot is throwing out the wrong bracket. I'll, I'll link the, the new bracket in chat. And, um, yeah, Grizzly, I will try to sort out. Are you, are, do you mean the, the Streamlab leaderboard for subs and bits? I, I don't quite know what's up with it. I'll, I'll, I'll get that figured out. But um, I'll, I'll get the... Um, I'll get the Diamond Double Season 2 bracket linked in chat for you guys. And into game number two we go. IQ drops with the 1-0 lead. And I guess not many viewers tonight. A bit of a it's a it's not an open tournament, so not as many people are interested. Now is this lag on my end or is this on the server? We'll see how things go. It's quite possibly server lag here. Seems to have cleared up. As I say, not too many viewers in this evening. I think we have a lot more when we have open tournaments and we've got lots of players involved. But after the qualifiers, this is now a closed league to eight teams. Rakis on the air dribble can't get it down on goal. Again, thanks everyone for joining us. Following a bit of the Diamond Double Season 2 here at Diamond League. And Ragus on the open goal. No one there to do anything about it. And IQ drops again. We'll get the first goal in the game. Taking a bit more time.
and TGT will be trying to figure out a way to stop game one scoreline being repeated or getting anywhere near that. But Ragus on a good dribble will send that straight past both TGT players. And like I've said before, if you've followed Diamond League, you'll know that Saman and Ragus um, both have been fairly involved in the 1v1 scene, so they're not the players that you want to be taking one-on-one. -on -one. And Ragus proven that. Sends it just wide. Might be able to continue the attack for TGT here. Sends it into the middle. Octanity is up in the air. Blocked down by Ragus. And now this could be a chance for IQ drops and the counter attacks. Ragus trying to play at center. Saman gets on the end of it, but nicely saved by Octanity. Damon, good control there to keep this one alive in the orange area. Fails to send it into the middle and Kuka will start an attack in the other direction. Nicely met by Saman, gets it on target. Kuka's there for the save though. And a savior medal to his name as well. Oh, and a big mistake there from Octane. He just... Driving forward to make the clear and just hitting that little curve on the post that totally threw him off to make the clear to the side. Unfortunate there, IQ drops. Will increase their lead. Ragus lining up the rebound here. Does very well to get that one on target. Nice little solo play here from Ragus. Good little block on the wall. A lined up rebound off the back wall. Two minutes to go now. TGT down by four. They've got an absolute mountain to climb. And they're one game down in the series so far as well. drops just have a stranglehold on this match so far just showing dominance in nearly every area of the field doing well to keep TGT pinned back and every time they do get an opportunity it's cleared well and counter-attacked upon nice safe play there by Ragus keeps control of the ball plays Seaman into the wall Ragus with the demo on Kuka at the back there. Just left that completely open for Seaman to send this one home. And it's almost like pouring salt in the wounds when you're already 4-0 down and you get demoed to give them an easy 5. And one minute left now for TGT to try and do something. Ragus trying to play Seaman into the game. Just missing out on connecting with each other. Nicely dropped down off the backboard, but... Oh, almost fell for Octanity to play forward, but he wasn't quick enough. Saman takes him out of the game, and this is going to allow IQ drops. Oh, well, possibly not. I was going to say it was going to allow IQ drops to keep on attacking, but... Kukov was allowed to push on the ball. Now Ragus, almost with an open goal opportunity, sends it to the far side, and it's just wide. IQ drops searching for their sixth in this game. Only 20 seconds left to go. It is basically impossible for TGT to start pulling this back now. IQ drops will take the two game lead in the series. And this will leave TGT looking for the three game reverse sweep. And 
And this will be kept alive shortly, but it will hit the ground and IQ drops will take game number two. IQ drops now, putting himself on match point. Looking to set themselves up nicely in week number one at the top of the table. Where they'll be tied up with all the other teams that get a win today. So far, that's Bean Sports and Raindrop sitting top of the table with a win. And IQ Drops looking to join the two teams already at the top of the table. If they can get one more game here, TGT looking for the reverse sweep. ranks on the team sheet for this tournament. This is a game that you will definitely be expecting IQ drops to be winning. Saman and Ragus, both at the pinnacle of Diamond 3. I can't be certain about um, Octanity and Kuka, but I believe they're between Diamond 1, Diamond 2 and Diamond 3, but Kuka will get TGT on the board. And it'll be the first time in this series that TGT have been ahead in a game We'll see if this can build them a bit of confidence. Perhaps they can start coming back in this series. Nice first touch by Kuka. so far managing to hold on to their lead. Fake by Kuka. Saman takes Octanity out of the game. Nice flick over Kuka, but Kuka was there for the save, but just misses out, and Ragus will get the goal. And tie us up a minute and a half in. And it was a nice flick up and in by Ragus. Kuka just not managing to meet it. Perhaps trying to block what thought what you thought might have been a shot coming in. Cook it on the dribble now. Same and dunks him and allows Ragus to try and come forward. Nice play by Cooker. He does get taken out by Ragus, though. I think I've we seen so far Ragus and an, <laughs> an incredibly uh, aggressive player. Likes his demos. And it is a tactic that can come in very handy at the right opportunity. Seaman does well to push that to the side. with another demo might be able to open things up here and he does lifts it nicely into the right hand side and I think the demos in this game are really pushing this in favor of IQ drops perhaps TGT just need to possibly speed up a little bit and start getting to these balls faster not allow IQ drops to come in and intercept everything like they have been doing. And off the crossbar, will roll across the line, bounce across the line rather for Saman to slot in.
Tanny forward onto Kuka. Nice little passing play. It nearly drops into goal. Ragus with a clutch save there. But a great little passing play coming out from TGT there. Almost getting the better of the IQ defense. Seaman plays that one just wide of the post. Rags managed to keep it alive. Missing the air by Octanity, but Cook is there to follow up and continue the attack. Blocked down by Octanity. Stop Ragus's dribble forward. And Cook are doing the same to Seaman. TGT now. Managing to pin IQ drops back. And that bump coming out from Seaman. Uh, from Ragus, sorry, releasing Seaman on the counter attack. And there's definitely a lot to be said for playing the physical game in Rocket League and bumping your opponents and demoing your opponents. And a lot of demos and bumps coming out in this game. And that one will roll in for Seaman. I'm not sure what happened here. And Kuka and Octanity have decided that enough is enough. IQ drops will take the 3-0 win in this series. And fair play to them. Only 30 seconds left to go. And there is not much they can do when IQ drops are dominating in the fashion that they are dominating. And IQ drops will take the 3-0 win in Diamond Doubles Season 2. League play week one. And it's literally just a matter of waiting for this clock to end. We really don't need to. And Ragus will make it five. Playing against zero teams. But we will give them their moment in the spotlight. An absolutely dominant performance coming out from IQ drops in every single game. Perhaps game three, TGT were starting to get a bit of a look in, but it wasn't long before IQ drops shut them down completely and well played to IQ drops. They will join Raindrop and Bean Sports at the top of the league for week one. And we will have one more match coming up today. We'll get that started in about 20 minutes time. Uh, we have uh, Din Gurkha versus Bazaar Esports will be kicking off in around 20 minutes so um, I'm just going to keep the stream going and I'm sorry it's going to be boring guys but I'm going to put this on to uh, an exhibition match waiting screen and some music and get chatting to the next teams that are coming up and we'll get this organized be back soon guys